What the to get to that creepy statue, we just need to follow the path we used to escape. Thank you, Catherine. Uh oh, it's the day and sleep quest. Okay, let's go, chat. Let's do this. Let's do this. Lawrence, what do you got for me, baby? Ah, uh, honorary knight. Is something the matter? I'm looking for a stranger with an eye patch. A stranger with an eye patch. Hmm. Let me think. Oh yeah. I remember seeing someone like that. A blonde stranger dressed in unusual garb. Mm hmm He was wandering all over Mondstadt at first, which I found rather suspicious. So I decided to keep an eye on him for a while. Uh, I what lost him pretty quickly. Still, I didn't think that this was such a huge matter that we needed our outrider to pursue him by air. Apparently so. As long as Master Jean is here, there's nothing to fear from some suspicious, unusual looking person. I mean, we've had a lot of... might be true, but if it were up to Jean, she'd take this way more seriously. I agree, Paimon, she would. <laughs> that is true. But on the other hand, knowing that Master Jean may overreact to the situation is all the more reason to not tell her, no? <sighs> Anyways. Oh, yeah. He was at Wagner Smithy for a while before I tried telling him. Uh, I've just been said there. something to Wagner. Wait, he told me... You should go ask him. Maybe he has more news about our stranger. Monka W. Why? You need something? I'm looking for a stranger with an eye patch who is not Kaya. Here. I remember him. He showed up a few days ago asking to buy a bunch of forging materials. Can't say I've heard of any of the materials he mentioned, though. Huh? He then had a look at the weapons in my shop before leaving. I've heard that he can be found drinking at the Angel's share. If the Knights of the Guild want to get hold of him, that's the only place to be. <laughs> Okay. Well, Master Diluc probably has his eye on that stranger too then. Anyway, let's go to the angel share and have a look. Oh, I'm, I feel like this is... Dude, I don't know, chat. I, I, I genuinely feel like this is super, super sus. <laughs> Never mind. What will it be? Grape juice or apple cider? Another day, another lack of alcoholic options. Hey, Charles. Have you seen a blonde stranger who wears an eye patch around here by any chance? Oh, I, I did put it on auto. <laughs> I was like, wait, this is a really long, awkward silence. That I have. He comes here every night. Just a drink, though. Doesn't order anything else. He even sometimes mixes his own drinks after he orders them. I don't know anything else about him, but from his selections and mixes, I'd say that he's quite the connoisseur. Okay. And what's Master D. Luke's opinion? Why, I just gave it to you. Quite the connoisseur. Quite the connoisseur. Investigating everything as always. Guess that's D. Luke for you. He looks a legend. Been looking for that gentleman. He ordered some new bottle of wine in advance yesterday, so he should be here today too. What wine? There's too many raucous patrons on the first floor, so if you want to wait, best to go to the second. You and Paimon start waiting on the second floor. Ah, welcome, sir. The wine that you previously ordered is here. He's really here? Let's go downstairs and have a look. Those clothes look so cool. No. Be a good person, please. Hi, I'm an adventurer with the Adventurers Guild. How do you do? I'm an honorary, honorary knight of Favonius. Wow. He's got no intention of paying us any mind, huh? So, uh, I'm a traveler. A traveler, you say? Hmm. Why are you traveling? I'm looking for my lost relative. <sighs> Yo, those eyes. Ah, oh, changed. Well, okay. That's as good a reason as any. Sit down over there then. So, guess we've broken the eyes. Could say that. What a weird guy. He's kind of odd. Hmm. That little one beside you. You know what? She's my best chub. Even if her voice has got slightly higher pitched. Uh-huh. We're the best of friends. Yes, we are, Paimon. It's indeed a good thing to have someone accompany you on your travels. My name's Dainsliff. I suppose you have some business with me? Uh, well, I was hoping to invite you to the... To adventure with us? Okay. Sure. 
Oh, what? What? Wait, what? You were so cold just a moment before. Paimon's got a bad feeling about this. But I will require advance payment. Of course you will. Uh, go talk to... Uh, go talk to... Go talk to Zhongli. How much? 500 Mora and three answered questions. What about 2,000 Mora and no answered questions? one time fee. And we'll settle the questions in a moment. That's it? That's it. Well, now Paimon's got a really bad feeling. That kind of compensation can't be right. Well, here's the 500 Mora. Ah, thank you. Now, as for my questions, I'd like you to answer them here and now. Uh, and if I answer wrongly, do I need to answer them all correctly? The answer to a question says nothing about right and wrong, only about differences in attitude. I don't trust this! I only this. wish to know what your choices are. You need only answer. Well, alrighty then. Question one. The crisis Mondstadt faced was resolved by an alliance between yourself and that... Animo Archon, who calls himself Venti. Who, in your view, was the key to ending that crisis? How did you know that Venti is... I know everything that I should. <laughs> well, answer the question. Who the fuck are you, blonde man? Also, why do you look so goddamn cool? Why are your eyes so pretty? Who are... Where did you come from? Oh my god. It was Venti. Is that your answer? Hmm. I see. Question number two. Okay. Rex Lapis, who has defended Liyue Harbor for millennia on end, used his gnosis to lay down a contract to end all contracts, of which the stipulations are still unknown. Who do you think will defend Liyue Harbor in the future, now that they've lost their deity? Are you the moon? Everyone in... Oh, shit, dude. Everyone in the way Harbor. So that's your answer? Yeah, it is. I see. Yeah, everyone. Now for my final question. This world has people who gained visions and those who did not. Yes. Which of the two do you think hold more importance in the eyes of the gods? Oh, God. Perhaps none of them do. So... This is your answer, then. Yeah, it is, Dainsleaf. I understand. I don't. As I thought, you really are similar to her. What do you mean, her? <laughs> I'll take that 500 Mora. And now I also understand your views on this world. As we agreed, you may now commission me. That said, I only take commissions related to the Abyss Order. Like you, I am currently on a journey. You intend to find your sibling, while I wish to oppose the Abyss. Listen, Danny boy, if by her you met my sibling, you fucking tell me. I've met some Abyss mages in the past. Oh yeah, at least I fried one of them from the inside out. It's kind of hot. <sighs> Those creatures that serve the Abyss are the fangs and claws by which the Order spreads chaos in this world. I have come to Mondstadt this time while on the trail of an Abyss Herald. A Herald? An Abyss Herald? An even more twisted Abyssal being. One that commands the Abyss Mages. Oh, that's cool. Okay, could to think of it? Since the Storm Terror incident ended, we haven't... Oh, that's right! We've just been fighting against the Fatui and Liyue, who are human too! Mm -hmm. We haven't encountered the non-human Abyss Order at all! There's some reason behind that, I'm afraid. It's possible that they may have been under orders to avoid your path. Really? Oh, that does sound pretty dangerous. <gasps> Maybe they're looking for a better time to ambush us or something. They won't defeat me. Uh-huh. We're super duper strong. Yes, we that are. Manner. It's just like hers. Huh? Well then, let's go see for ourselves, shall we? According to the leads I have on hand, the Abyss Order has re-infiltrated the Temple of the Falcon. Let's meet up at the temple. Perhaps your questions about the Abyss will be answered there. I have more questions about you than the fucking Abyss. Who is her? Okay. This abandoned temple does bear some marks of the Abyss. 
a falcon of the west. Though it can soar in the wind, it ultimately does not but hover under the light of the gods. What are you talking about? Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. Let's head inside. No, it's not nothing. You don't get to just say it's nothing every time you say weird shit, Daysleep. Could you tell me more about the Abyss Order? The Abyss. It is chaos, and it is also destruction. It is a morass of inconceivable madness that encroaches upon this world's very foundations. Okay. That is why even the Dragon of the East, a servant of a deity, was unable to resist its corrosive powers. And the creatures of the Abyss desire nothing less than the overthrow of a world ruled by the Archons. But they real strong. You know a lot about the Abyss game. <laughs> well, we do have some history. I suppose that's as far as chit chat goes. We should head to Wolvendom. They real Judging strong. Judging by the traces I'm following, their next appearance may be within the territory of that old wolf. Perhaps we may find our Abyss Herald there. Okay. Lord of Wolvendom, great oh, wolf God. king of the north, sharp of fang and keen of claw, and yet dwelling here only. You familiar with the wolf? No, nor does it know me. I only know these things because a previous traveling companion of mine once wanted to hear its story. All right, let's go see if that Abyss Herald has stopped by here. Well, where do we begin? Hmm, are you standing here what? because of these strange bonfires, Dane? Indeed. See that? Floating above the flames? It's an abyssal spell. It looks kind of cool. Knowing what I do of the Order's habits, they've probably left similar marks behind elsewhere. Let's have a look nearby. Okay. Yo, this is cool. Okay, I like the, the little, uh... What do they call it? Ru I guess runic... Oh, n Oh, okay. I thought I was going to have to fight it. Yikes! Where did these monsters pop out from? Let's clear them out and that, quick! That's a lot, too. Uh-oh. Everybody stand back! Let me leave you a first. Get back! Juggle! Don't let him hit the ground. It's keepy uppies. Wait, did I kill them all? Oh my god, dude, Raze is so good. Dane Sleeve, what have you got for us? What have you got for us? Have you finished searching? We found lots of signs of the Abyss Order. I searched around these parts and found some signs myself. What did you find? But they were left behind by abyss mages, and there was no deeper abyssal power to them. It seems that even an abyss herald would not wish to make trouble with the Wolf King of the North. Wow, really? We should leave as well. If there's anything praiseworthy about that old wolf, it's his territorial nature. But now we're out of leads. Are we going to have to give up? No. There is one more place we can go. Let's get wow. a move on then. I'll wait for you at Storm Terror's lair. Oh, okay. Storm Terror's lair. Oh, no, dude. Why am I scared about this? Okay, let's go. Let's go. I've heard about what happened to you during Mondstadt's crisis. When you came, this place was known as Storm Terror's lair. It still is. But I suppose that this place is more lair than Storm Terror at this point. In fact, if my memory serves... This ruin has had largely nothing to do with that dragon for a long time. I had to the first get time I I'm laid sorry. eyes upon the ruins of old Mondstadt, the dragon of the east had yet to fall, much less come to nest in this place. Huh? But Baima remembers that Tavalin first got in trouble hundreds of years ago. Don't think too much about it. Do you remember the light actuators that once sealed this ruin? Yes, if actually, I do. If the order is interested in this location, then they will not neglect those mechanisms. Let's go see what the situation is at those light actuators. Bro, oh, God. Look, there are lots of monsters gathered over there. Oh, it just, it makes me feel so sus. I don't know. It really does. Incinerate! Yes. Light it up. Rain outlines your... Light it up! 
motion to compel. Go! Uh, I'm going in! Let's light it up! You bitch! Breath of the flame! Ring cutter! <laughs> boom boom! You're not gonna give me ult? Oh shit! No, my sword! Motion to compel! Oh wait, there's a lot of enemies here. Uh oh. I didn't even see it, chat. I didn't even see the healer. God damn it. <laughs> oh, so in the end, we still couldn't find that Abyss Herald. Bummer. It's quite a shame. I wouldn't call not having to gaze upon such a creature a shame, exactly. Still, I do believe that you will come across one eventually. Oh, yeah? N no. You're right. If it's a really powerful monster, it would be best to go around it. Maybe you're an Abyss Herald. How good it would be if all perils one encounters in their journeys could simply be solved by going around them. Ah, uh, speaking of experience, are we? Once upon a time, yes. I simply have experience from adventuring together with that traveling companion. Uh, you know, Dean, you keep talking about that person this and that person that. Where are they now, anyway? She... <sighs> no longer travels. I'm afraid that traveling can be too exhausting at times. Oh, is that how it is? Well, why are you traveling alone then? I still have some things left unfinished. Once they are done, I too will return home to rest. <sighs> yep, and it's good to have a home to come back to, isn't it? We camp out a lot when we travel. Hey, once you find your sibling, we should find a place to stay too, shouldn't we? Monstat's fisherman's toast is pretty tasty, but True. Leeway's one-man restaurant is great too. The restaurant is uh, good in anyway, Leeway. We should settle down in a place where there's good food. Getting a bit ahead of ourselves, I think. Maybe some sticky honey roast. Home. Well, it won't be too late to think about where you stay once your journey reaches its end. While you're still traveling, you should. What? What is it? I sense something familiar on that cliff. Huh? What's familiar? I felt it for a moment the previous time we came here too. A familiar feeling, you say? It could be someone you know well. Or perhaps a monster. Could it be the abyss? Whichever it is, we should see it for ourselves and thus see clearly. We can reach the top of that cliff from over there. Let's go. I'm scared. Can you still sense that familiar feeling that you spoke of earlier? It's nearby. But it doesn't feel like there's anything around here. No monsters, no people, nothing. Indeed. There doesn't seem to be anything strange about this place. It doesn't look any different from the last time I was here. Uh, last time you say? My traveling companion brought me here on our previous journey. Who the fuck are you? So, Dean, what about you? What's your favorite place? Me? I no longer remember. I merely followed my traveling companion around on that journey. That's all there was to it. Why? What? Huh? A ruined guard's footprint. A ruined guard was wandering around here? This is so sus, dude. This is so sus. Yo, what? Wait. Oh, that from a dandelion? What's gotten into you? You were just spacing out. I could feel her. Huh? You mean your sister? But how could that be? You only touched that dandelion for a second! The moment I touched it. Hmm. Perhaps that dandelion bears some sort of scent that only you recognize. As for why, 
as it perhaps experienced something related to you. Uh, you're saying some real confusing stuff. Paimon doesn't get it at all. Uh, regardless, I have to get to the bottom of the... Do not rush. Vexation and anxiety are the enemy of rational thought. Your journey has only just begun, has it not? At least you now know that she is still on this world. At this time, the most important thing is the journey to find her itself. And I will find her. Yes. And this is something you must keep in mind as the meaning behind your journey. May you find your kin at the end of that journey. Well then, let us part ways here for now. Huh? You're leaving? Already? Only for now. What? Don't worry. We will meet again. After all, I did take 500 mora and those three answers you gave me. True. Wow, that's actually died. You're just gonna leave me like that? Oh, yes, yes. They have the audacity to go after anything. Oh, God. Seven dragons, gods. No ancient artifact that relates can escape their greedy ambitions. Still, this time is different. Who do they think they are going after the Abyss Order's treasures? It is risky. Oh, traveler, it's you. Hello. Huh? It is I. Can you? What are you doing here with Lan? Do you have a commission you need to post? Hello. We were just discussing the treasure hoarders. Yes. We were just saying how even the audacious treasure hoarders should know better than to mess with the Abyss. It's just too evil. Mm. But we recently received intel from the Ministry of Civil Affairs that two big-time treasure hoarders in Liyue and Mondstadt are planning some big joint operation. Two big-time treasure hoarders? Yes. They're known as Big Sis of the South and Raptor of the North. Big oh, Sis of the South? Raptor! Paimon remembers he tried to run away from Amber and Mondstadt. I rem but who is Big Sis of the South? I remember him. He was the one that hit across the uh, the canopy that we had to glide slash fly to. Does Big Sis mean she bosses people around? Is she the boss? Is she the boss the treasure hoarders refer to? Oh. You already know something then. I oh. guess you must have crossed paths with the treasure hoarders many times before. You are correct. She's the head of the treasure hoarders in Liyue. As I understand it, the treasure hoarders all call her boss. Some say that the god of thieves even bestowed a gift upon her for her exploits, making her big sis of the gods. But that's probably just a wild rumor. Anyway, the I don't treasure know. hoarders discovered some previously unexplored ruins that the Abyss Order has been secretly guarding in the shadows. Despite how dangerous that makes it, all the treasure hoarders can think about is what kinds of treasure could be inside. They have already devised a plan. They will send out a decoy to divert the Abyss Order's forces away from the ruins, then send an expert thief inside to steal the treasure. To this end, Big Sis and Raptor have reportedly recruited a certain Grand Thief from Fontaine. Oh Grand no. Thief? That's from Fontaine? Quite an impressive sounding title. Oh, indeed. He is an extraordinary individual. The Grand Thief is highly respected in the Treasure Hoarders, in the same way that we adventurers look up to great adventurers. Just like the famous adventurer Alice or Stanley, we'll say Alice. Ah, so you're familiar with the author of the Tavat Travel Guide then? Correct. The sure. Grand Thief is someone as renowned as her. So, despite being relative big timers in Liu and Mondstadt, Big Sis and Raptor had to put in a lot of work to convince a thief of his status to come and personally oversee this operation. With the major changes in Liyue recently, the Ministry of Civil Affairs and the Millilith already have their hands full. True. They don't have any time to investigate rumors about treasure hoarder activity. Well, luckily but for you... anything related to the Abyss makes me feel like there is some unknown danger lurking beneath the surface. I think we have time. So, I decided to come to the Adventurer's Guild to post a commission. I too understand the dangers of the Abyss. <laughs> Leave this commission to us! Let's go! Oh. Thank you so much. Good to see this in the hands of a reliable guild member. Of course. Well then, good luck. The guild will take care of the details of this commission. We got this, I believe. We are gonna destroy the opposition. Door of resurrection activated. Oh God, why am I so scared, dude? I, I genuinely feel terrified. 
I genuinely feel terrified. Uh... Oh no. Where's your head? Oh, it's there. This looks like a person. Could it be the Grand Thief? Why is he in that position? Is he praying to something? I thought they cut his head off. <gasps> uh, a statue of the Seven? Why is the statue of the Seven hanging upside down? It's like the Antichrist. And the statue's hands. Paimon remembers they're normally holding an orb, right? But this statue is holding... What is that? Uh, Paimon has a really bad feeling about this. Yeah, so do I. And the Grand Thief hasn't moved an inch. Do, do you think he's... D no. Um, hello? Are you okay, mister? No reaction already started breathing. Paimon doesn't feel so good. What a terrible place. Uh, let's get out of here. And fast. We should report back to Ganyu and Lon. I have a feeling it ain't gonna be that easy, Paimon. Now what? We can't stay here. Quick, run! Give me Shing Show. Oh god, this looks like hell. But like fun Are hell, you know? Lied. It An abyss you cannot spy on the secrets of the abyss. You have come here. You have seen our secrets. For this, you must pay the price. As a herald, I will mete out your punishment. Bring it, you pussy. An abyss herald? The one Dane spoke of. Dane. Dane's Oh, I thought you were just a couple of pests that stumbled in here by mistake. So. I you shouldn't are have said with his name. Dane's I shouldn't have said that his name. Constant annoyance in our affairs. Did he send you here to die? His resistance against the abyss has gone nowhere for a long time. Resistance there is this. nothing you can do to change the tide. I'm so scared. The abyss is unstoppable. My friends are my power. What is this power? I have never seen it before. Careful. Please don't get cocky. Uh. Yeah. Let's light it up. Oh, God, okay. Motion to compel. Keep back. Body and mind. Yeah. No, don't switch the. Uh, it seems familiar. Yeah? I see. So it's you. You are the one. In that case, I shall stay here no longer. What? No, I'm not. Oh, such a strong enemy. 
Who knew the Abyss Order had monsters this powerful among them? It seemed to know me. Huh? What is it? What are you thinking about? Nothing. Let's just get out of here. Hey, yeah, hey, leave, yeah, leave, leave, leave. We're near the exit now. Let's get oh. out of this scary place before something even more dangerous shows up. <laughs> She's so adorable. She's so adorable. The Traveler probably will swiftly leave the ruins. Good. That is the best idea you could possibly ever have. Holy shit. So, we meet again. A little sooner than I had expected. Hey, it's Dane! Okay, Dane. Judging by your expression, it seems you just experienced something quite strange. Could it be that you encountered an Abyss Herald in those ruins? Huh? How did you know that? I've been on the Abyss Herald's trail. I didn't expect to find you here as well. Uh, there was something even stranger than the Abyss Herald in the ruins. The traveler tells Dane about the Danes about the stranger. An okay, okay. Statue of the Seven. There we go. Holding abyssal power in its hands. There we go. No, I have never seen such a thing during my time fighting the abyss. Though I have had my suspicions. Tell me the rest of what happened in there. So you escaped the ruined depths filled with abyssal power, and then. Bubbles. And then, as we got close to the exit, an abyss herald suddenly appeared and blocked our way. We fought a big battle with that thing. Maybe it hasn't gotten too far yet. Yes, this Whoa. is a rare opportunity indeed. Come, let's catch up to it. Boy, I thought I was the one who commissioned you. Let's go! A rare <laughs> opportunity? With Dane helping out, maybe we'll be able to solve more mysteries about the Abyss. It's definitely possible. Okay. Wow. Besides the Abyss Order, Ruin Guards sure are active around here. It's kind of spoopy, Paimon. Mm, seems wherever we find an Abyss Mage hideout, there's often a bunch of Ruin Guards roaming around too. Is that just a coincidence? Or... Are they control... Mm. There are no coincidences in the world. Oh god. Everything is the fruit of seeds planted long ago. Just like your appearance in that tavern. Time... He's just waiting for those seeds to sprout. But I only heard about you by chance. Forget it. Just some needless musings. Bro, the connection between the Abyss Order and the Ruin Guards is by no means incidental. This guy. Rather, they are both branches that have grown out and up from the same roots below. This guy. Branches? Roots? What do you mean exactly? Both originate from an ancient nation that was destroyed 500 years ago. Kanriha? Kanriha. Huh? Okay, that's a cool Kanria? name. Kanriha? Really? The Abyss Order and Ruin Guards are left over from after the destruction of that nation? Oh. What? Speaking of Kanriha, that's really a super ancient name. It's a really cool oh. name. Right. As your guide, Paimon should explain a bit here. A long time ago, the nation of Kanria was... I know about Kanria. Huh? Because I have memories of Kanria. You have memories of being there? But that nation was destroyed 500 years ago. Hmm. Is that so? Well, everyone has their secrets. You did not pry into mine, so I shall not pry into yours. Thanks. But, if you would like to tell me, I will listen. So, the Kanria you saw, what was it like? He's so sus! Well, I can't hide it from him any longer. Dan and Kanria, it's worth a shot. The person who woke me up, and the... What the fuck? I can't hide it from it any longer. Oh, the Traveler Tell said about the Sea of Flames they saw 500 years ago, the god they encountered. So that's the complete story, huh? Paimon thought that you ran into that unknown god first. I see. So your first memory after coming to this world was being awoken by your sister from within that meteorite. It seems your sister woke up first. But the question is, how long before you? And then your sister told you that the destruction of Kanria plunged the whole world into chaos, and that you two should leave this world called Tevat? 
The destruction of Conria? She said that? That's what I heard at the time. That destruction you witnessed, that's history from 500 years ago. It seems the first time you awoke in this world was indeed during that period. Huh. So your sister must have understood this world better than you did because she woke up first. Possibly. And it was shortly after that that you encountered an unknown god who blocked your path, so you couldn't escape. Oh, Paimon knows this part really well. Uh-huh. I understand. When you awoke at that time and hurriedly tried to leave for another world, you didn't know anything about Kanria. But now, since you have come to gain some understanding of Tavat, you are able to guess that the war you witnessed all those years ago must be the war that ended Kanria. Am I right? Honestly? Ah, if that's the case, you must have been flipping through all sorts of books during our adventure these past few months. Before going to Mondstadt, you had just looked at some vague materials. Later, we managed to gather a whole bunch of old books from all around Mondstadt and Lille, but you told Paimon they were useless. Ah, uh, they were useless. So, the whole time you were just trying to learn more about Conria so you could find your sister? <sighs> it's the second most promising lead after looking for the Seven. Oh, yeah. You can travel around the Seven Nations to find the Seven. But where can you go to find a nation that was destroyed 500 years ago? I probably know more about Kanria than both of you. Kanria was a nation without a god. Not because it had a god that died or abandoned them, but because it never had a god to begin with. What? It was okay. a powerful nation, built purely by humans. An unprecedented flourishing and glorious civilization. It was the pride of humankind. A nation without a god? Later events unfolded just as you remember. It was all destroyed by gods. But why? You mean that? 500 years ago, the gods descended upon the world and brought desolation to Kanya. It's like fucking Ragnarok. The pride of humankind was uprooted and crushed, like a weed removed from the garden of the gods. It is literally like Ragnarok. <gasps> Books don't say anything about that. What a dangerous world. I need to hurry up and find my sister. Yes. Well, continuing to discuss the past now will only dampen our spirits. Uh, I need to hear what explanation the gods have for their actions. The next time I see Venti or Zhong Li. Oh, we're going to say the second one. Let's keep moving. I will tell you more of what you want to know as we continue our search. Well, I only said the second because I didn't want to name drop, but then this guy knows everything anyway, so I... God, this is insane, chat. Huh? This abyss may dropped a talisman. <gasps> Could it be a communication of some kind? Huh? Mm. This talisman seems connected to the abyss herald, but why would an abyss mage be carrying it? Perhaps why? it really does contain information about their operation. But Paimon can't read the writing on it. Oh, oh it's is the that ancient the script. script? Of Kanria? Engulf the faith of an enemy in flame and bring glory to her highness, the princess. What? Is that what it says? Oh, no. Loom of fate, initial operation. They, the abyss, seem to be carrying out a large operation. The key word here is loom of fate. Loom of fate? It seems like fate. they are still launching the operation, or rather, are still conducting preliminary tests. Loom of fate? What's that? Is it literally a fate weaving machine? Surely not. This is so wild. Um. Shit, dude. I mean, the, the, both of these. I, I, I want to find out more about this statue. Is it related to the inverted statue? From the horrible feeling Paimon's been getting, those eerie ruins are super likely to be related to this fate weaving operation. Ugh. So, Dane, what? does this talisman contain? I'm reading it now. Hmm. An ambitious operation. But some parts are difficult to understand. Of course. How so? In short, the first phase of the plan is related to Osail, Overlord of the Vortex. Osail? The Overlord of the Vortex? 
You mean that god in the ocean? Oh, yeah, Osawa was the name of the thing, right? It was just crushed by the Jade Chamber. What do they want with Osayo? Uh... Could it be the same as with Devalin? I know of your past heroics regarding Devalin. And I also know of the Abyss Order's role in the Storm Terror incident. Though you may not have been aware of it at the time, you were thwarting an Abyss Order operation similar to this one. Last time it was Venti's old friend. This what? time it's a huge ancient god. The Abyss Order keeps setting their sights higher and higher. Will the Abyss Order use their lies and dark magic to corrupt Osayo, just as they did Devalin? No. From the contents of the talisman, this operation goes one step further. Oh no. They won't just corrupt Osayo's mind. They also plan to use the ancient technology behind the field tillers to completely transform Osayo's body. Is that Excuse me? possible? So wait, the Abyss Order wants to make some sort of cybernetic squid god of mass destruction? Feels hentai in the chat. These net names keep getting longer. <laughs> Very few people today truly understand the civilization of Kanria. Though, of course, the accuracy of that understanding itself is difficult to judge. Only the Abyss Order has consistently sought out the remnants of Kanria. Despite being far from human, they seek out this lost human civilization quite persistently. The talisman's message states that they will use the defiled statue as a base, attaching Osile's limbs to construct a mechanized god. What? And the new core that shall replace the orb usually held by the statue of the Seven is the eye of the very first field tiller. What? The eye of the very first field tiller? <sighs> Oh, Paimon gets it! All those Abyss Mages are looking for the special eye, right? It would seem so. Oh, no. Oh, they haven't found it yet. We still have time. This whole thing keeps getting more complicated. But basically, it all has to do with that eerie statue of the Seven we saw, right? Yep. Yes. According to the Talisman, the eye should be placed in the hands of the defiled statue thereby imbuing the newly born god with the power to really topple the divine thrones of celestia celestia oh boy the abyss order sure isn't holding back with this plan hmm. since no one knows where the first field tiller is how about we take the information about the statue as the starting point for our investigation uh it looked like the animal archon yeah that tone-deaf bard is too difficult to track down anyway. Stop it! Let's go to the cathedral first and ask around. Maybe we'll learn something. Fine, but don't talk to Betty like that. Hmm. Huh? What's the matter, Dean? Uh-oh. Nothing. Let's get moving. Uh, uh, okay, uh, there's something wrong with him. There's something wrong with him. Oh, no. Sneering at the power of gods. Ah, okay. Of course, it's kind of a lot in general. Hell yeah, I love lore. I love it a so huge much. Statue. A grandiose cathedral. The people of Mondstadt clearly spent a great deal of resources and energy to construct them. But how aware of this was the Animal Archon on receiving this gift? And how much did he give back in return? Good question. Faith doesn't ask for anything in return, though, does it? <laughs> As long as the gods have a Ugh. clear conscience about it all, there's nothing I can say about it. Shh! We're about to enter the cathedral! Don't say anything bad about the Animal Archon! Yeah, don't. And not Venny. Actually, the Animal Archon is... Ugh, never mind. Yep. <laughs> I never specifically said I would enter the cathedral. I'll leave you two to mingle with the sisters. Huh? Um... Aren't you curious? You are the honorary knight of Mondstadt. They will surely allow you to poke into these affairs with their utmost trust. I don't trust Having it. Having me tag along would only make them suspicious. I don't trust it. You don't think you'll be popular among the sisters? Correct. And just as our little friend said, I might say something bad about the church at any time. True. When a non-believer steps onto holy ground, Ugh. the result is never pretty. I have never received the favor of the gods in the past, 
I don't see any reason I would need it now. I don't trust you one either. bit, dude. I don't trust you. No. Nope. That's enough about that. While we've been chit-chatting, the Abyss Order continues to act. Okay, then we'll just go in ourselves and ask around. I should warn you about one thing. Oh no, what? Don't go mentioning the defiled statue inside the cathedral. The Church of Favonius wouldn't ignore the matter of the statue. But if they rashly tried anything against the Abyss Order, it would only ruin whatever element of surprise we may have. Also, meddling in the affairs of the Abyss usually doesn't end well for anyone. Honorary Knight! Hi, how have you been? Do you I'm need good. anything today? Uh, but I should first make it clear that if you need to borrow the Holy Liar to Hermel again, we cannot oblige. Yeah, no, it's fine, I don't. It seems she hasn't realized it's just an illusion. Oh, God. Oh, we're here to ask some questions about something. Barbara, have you heard about the first field tiller? Oh, no. Hmm. What's that? Field tiller? What does it do? Come on, you know what a field uh, tiller is. Of course you wouldn't know anything about that. <laughs> okay, next question. No! Has the church ever lost a statue of the seven? Huh? Did You're here to ask about that old story? Well, I didn't expect that. That was such a long time ago, barely anyone mentions it nowadays. Didn't we literally get told not to ask that? There was indeed one statue of the seven that disappeared one night without a trace. Nearly every member of the church joined the search for it, but it was never found. In the church's records, as you might assume, this incident has been called the Lost Statue of the Seven. Oh no, dude. Oh of no. Of course! Of course? Uh, nothing? So do you have any other clues? Uh, uh, Paimon means any other strange stories? <laughs> Sorry, Barbara, but we can't tell you about the statue we saw just yet. Like Dane said outside, it's for your own good. I'm so are done. Strange stories. I'm not sure. Barbara, are you serious? I mean, Paimon. What other incidents are in the church's records? Mm. <sighs> oh, the tyrant's final fury? Mm, no, that's from another time. Probably unrelated. There is a, a time and a place. Final fury. Oh. This refers to a time of great danger that engulfed old Mondstadt, Ooh. the place now known as Storm Terror's Lair. Okay. Many, many years ago, there was a time when balls of fire would rain from the sky whenever anyone approached old Mondstadt. Balls of fire raining from the sky? How terrifying! Uh-huh. People at that time believed it was a curse laid down by the god of storms, so they referred to it as the tyrant's final fury. This strange phenomenon continued for about a year. No one was ever able to solve it. It just gradually ceased on its own. It's not necessarily related to the tyrant. Right. Later, the theory of the tyrant's final theory became less probable in the eyes of the church. Common reasoning dictates that the god of storms wouldn't shoot fireballs. Perhaps it was something else that caused the disaster. Anyway... This incident might not be related to the lost statue of the Seven. Maybe not. But I just can't think of any other strange incidents that might be. It's okay. Thanks anyway. There's that pointless word, thank you, again. I can never uh, get used to hearing it. It's Rosaria! Rosaria, it's you. If you're looking for the Knights of Favonius, they're busy with those monsters again. Uh... Those monsters? You're so beautiful. Those monsters that tried to attack Mondstadt last time during the Storm Terror incident? Wasn't that the Abyss Order? They're at it again? That was the Indeed. Abyss Order. They're gathering in Wolvenbum, causing great unrest among the wolves. Could it be that the Abyss Order is targeting the spirit of Lupus Boreas? <sighs> As for what purpose, I can't say for certain. Master Jean Ice is already wolf? headed off to Wolvendam. I must also begin to make a move myself. Then oh I no. Will go as well. It's the Master Ice Wolf. Master Jean said you should stay at the church and continue your work with the clergy. But you're also a member of the clergy. Don't worry, I'll go help as well. Right. We'll go give Master Jean a hand. Oh. Okay. If the honorary knight will be there, then. We got but this. Please, everyone, be careful. May the animal archon protect you all. Okay. 
Come on. I see. Has the Abyss Order already launched a new operation? This could very well have something to do with the Defiled Statue. We should go as well. Yes, we should. But what is the Abyss Order going to Wolven them for anyway? Are they looking to do the same as they did with Devalin? Please uh, don't. Not again! No, that's not likely. Unlike Osile, who was just suppressed, Andreas died long ago. Today, it is just his spirit that stands guard over Wolvendom. The Abyss Herald may just be targeting the spirit of Andreas in an attempt to garner some information from one of the Animo Archon's old companions. Huh! We got Bennett and the Ikea for Vorni in one poll. The closer we get to the target, the more enemies there are. <laughs> yep. Fits the Abyss Order's style. Offense and defense. We should hurry and find Lupus Boreas. Yeah, let's go! I'm... not going any further. Why? Huh? Why not? Is it because you're afraid of fluffy animals? That's probably not it. It has nothing to do with wolves. It's because Boreas was an ancient god, yet he willingly became a servant of the Seven. I cannot possibly agree with his actions. I don't oh. desire any interaction with him. Okay! Besides, you're the one people like. I'm... less likable. Uh, you really don't like social interaction, huh? I have no problem interacting with people. It's a mood. But interacting with gods... That's a different story. It's just my opinion, but a word of advice. Always be on your guard when around gods. Oh, you God. You shouldn't place too much trust in them. But at the same time, don't go too far in the opposite direction. Don't go trying to overthrow them or hunt them down. Of course. Even if the god in question is your sworn enemy. Don't trust them and don't hunt them. That's some awkward advice. Does Dan hate the Seven, or is he protecting them? Why is your opinion so contradictory? <laughs> Lest I repeat the failings of my forebears, I will tell you one final fact. Oh? Huh? What fact? The destruction of the nation of Kanria by the gods is the reason the Abyss Order now seeks to destroy the nations watched over by the Seven. Well, enough chit-chat. We should get back to business. I will go take care of the remaining Abyss Order members in the area. Try and keep your visit with Boreas brief. Afterward, let's meet at the entrance to Wolvendom. Up, oh, there he goes. What a strange man. Okay. Oh, God, okay. I can kind of see where he's coming from. Yeah, that's true. You also keep your guard up against unfamiliar gods. At the right of dissension in Lyre, your decision was very similar to what Dane would do. When there's a lack of trust, it's best to just avoid the situation entirely. <sighs> Not the easiest situation. Honorary Knight, Paimon, what are you two doing here? Physics! Oh, Master Jean! So glad we found you! Rosaria told us that you came here to fight the Abyss Order, so we came to help. Then your help is greatly appreciated. The Abyss Order's sudden offensive is very strange. They have surrounded Wolvendom. I am preparing to send out some knights to fight back. I just scouted out all of Wolvendom, but I did not see you. We were just hidden, you know, just told hidden. Me that the Abyss Order is going after Boreas. But the Abyss Order and Boreas. What is the connection between them? They just like to cause trouble. Ah, do they really need a reason? The Abyss Order already went after Devalin. It's not too surprising that they would also go after another one of the Animal Archon's buddies. Hmm, that is true. Regardless, oh. whether the reason behind the present threat is clear or not, I will handle the situation. Honorary Knight, please go and check if Lupus Boreas is in any danger. I'm on my this way already. God's spirit. He does not often see people. But I hear that you have met him before. Yep. Maybe it is best that you are also the one to meet him this time. We're besties. I'll do it. Okay. Be careful. Thank you for your help, Honorary Knight of Favonius. Of course, Jean. What the fuck is... <gasps> Look! Over there, it's Razor! Hello? The Abyss Herald! 
Hello? You, not welcome here. <laughs> so, the wolf's wretched spirit likes to raise wild pups now. You claim to be a guardian, yet your once sharp claws have clearly dulled since your days of godly glory. If you serve us, we can restore no, no, your no, 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 don't do it, don't do it, don't you do it. Held in the past. Uh uh. Rising. Even if it's true, don't do it, Boris. What the heck is this ceremony? He looks like he's in a lot of pain. Oh no, is this the same thing they did to corrupt Devalin's mind? Please Wolves don't. never surrender. But this can't go on. Time for another round with the Abyss, Harold. No matter how many times you resist us, your efforts are all in vain. Fuck, dude. Aye, right, you're dead! You pussy, do you not know have my wolf! Everybody, stand back! Uh -huh. Rain outlines your face. Incinerate! Are you serious? You're bringing in reinforcements, you pussy? Bring it, motherfucker, bring it. Okay, he brought it. He brought it! Time for your arraignment! Let me weave you a verse. No, my. We're finishing this fight with Razor, chat. We're doing this with Razor. Okay, he's dead. He's dead. Where's the other opponent? You're not dead. Incinerate. I need that shield gone. I need that shield. Holy shit! That attack was so cool. Hello? Let's light it up! Motion to compel! Rain outlines your... Bro, your shield is so strong! Incinerate! Not to the booth when you did that. Oh. 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 Let's light it up. The end. Yes. Rain cut. Motion to compel. Teamwork is dream work. Let's go! Let's go, Razor! The ceremony was interrupted. How fortunate for you. How does an old spirit have such determined will? My friends are my power. No matter. This is but a small unforeseen variable. Our grand scheme will not be affected. How are you still alive? It disappeared again. Uh, it sure ran away quickly. Thank you. You came. Just in time. I got you, buddy. Human Lupercal. I am ashamed that you must see me in my present state. Boreas, don't. It's fine. But still, the Abyss Herald underestimated my strength. They always do. Lupus Boreas never refuses trial, but scary outsider. 
not respect trial rules. I too didn't see the trap. Wait, so you mean the Abyss Order had oh, everything no. prepared to corrupt Lupus Boreas's mind, then lured him out under the pretense of challenging him in a trial? It's not your fault, Razor. Thank you. In the future, my claws must get sharper. You smelled danger and came here? No, we heard about the danger. No, we smell Hyman's it. nose doesn't even know what danger smells like. No, we smell Besides it. Besides coming to help, we actually have something to ask you about, too. Oh. Uh, excuse us, Mr. Wolf God. Do you know anything about the first field tiller? Uh oh I pay no heed to the contraptions of humans. I know not what this field tiller is. Though there was indeed one human-made machine that I can never forget. And what is it? It entered into my proving ground by accident, and I mistook it for a challenger. But it could not think, only fight. It was designed as a pure killing machine from top to bottom. Okay. I eventually damaged it greatly with one of my attacks. Before it fell to the ground, it fled the proving ground. Hmm. By the sounds of it, it's possible that yeah. could have been the very first field tiller, right? Could it shoot missiles? Missiles. I do not know this strange word. Pew As pews. I said, I pay no heed to the contraptions of humans. Could it do the pew pew? It could spin, leap high into the air, and even shoot fireballs. Oh god. Although no match for a god, it was stronger than even many who wield visions. Fuck. I think that is the first one. Fireballs? Hey, didn't we hear this somewhere else recently as well? Anyway, this pretty much proves that the first field tiller came to Mondstadt, doesn't it? Yep. It sounds like the first one was way stronger than the mass-produced ruin guards that came after. But in this story, it was damaged at the proving ground while fighting the wolf of the north. Maybe it's already dead. No. But did we help? You helped. Good yes, boy, Razor. You good boy. Big help. Thanks. You head pots. We need to keep investigating something super important. The Abyss Herald may have left, but the Abyss's forces are still attacking. You two be careful. Yes, I smell more danger. Oh God. Bigger danger. I don't want bigger you danger. Too. Also, be careful. Ah, uh, okay. Uh. Automatic cutscene? Dang, there you are. Did you see Master Jean? I saw her, but purposely avoided her. Why? As both the Lion Fang Knight and acting Grand Master, she naturally would have some reservations towards me. If I'm not careful, one day I may find myself becoming the object of one of her investigations. I mean, but true. Back to the matter at hand. I defeated some of the Abyss forces, but wasn't able to gather any information. Did you have more success? We had a bit. Travel tells about they learned for the spirit of Lupus Boreas. I see. Well then. What a weird angle. We can more or less figure out where the first field tiller ended up. Huh? Really? Just from the Lupus Boreas story? That information combined with a more comprehensive analysis. Let for us example, in. For example. The old story you told me you heard in the cathedral. The tyrant's final fury? Exactly. The strange story told to you by that young sister. Long mistaken to be a curse rained down by a deceased tyrant. The fireballs raining from the sky were probably miss. Oh. Ah, Paimon gets it. So the tyrant's final fury was really just missiles fired from oh. the field tiller after a hand from Wolvendom. Okay. After it was damaged in the fight with the wolf of the north, 
It must have wandered into the ruins of Old Mondstadt and stayed there. Then, whenever anyone got close, pew, pew, boom! It would fire a ton of missiles at them. Until one day, it finally broke down for good, and the fireball stopped raining from the sky. Back then, the people of Mondstadt hadn't seen many ruin guards before, so they came to interpret it as the tyrant's final fury. Wow. It looks like we need to make a trip to Storm Terror's lair and comb the entire area. No need. Hmm. What do you mean? Oh, shit. Ah. Uh... I'm scared to click the button. <laughs> I'm scared to click the button. Oh, I'm Baby. Thank you for the follow. -up. Welcome on in. I appreciate you tuning into the Twitch from the YouTube. Oh, uh, okay. I remember. Huh? You mean... Oh, Paimon remembers too. We saw that abandoned ruin guard sitting atop the tower when we went there before. Can't forget something like that. The one that was... Wait, the one that was looking out into the distance? The one that was looking at the thing in the sky? No shot, sure, dude. What? This is it, right? Uh-huh. <sighs> okay, then. Use your elemental sight to look for the eye. Ooh, so what did you see? No eye. Uh -huh. Nothing. Oh, but Paima was so excited. Uh, what's going on? Are you sure you did it right? This requires uh -huh. another method. Using elemental sight on a field tiller is of no use because it is not powered by the elements. Let me give it a try. And done. Wow! What? It's... It's a... The very thing the Abyss Herald has been seeking all along. The Eye of the First Field Tiller. All of the Ruin Guards today are just replicas of this machine. As the prototype, its combat capability was unrestricted. Prototype? Oh, Paimon doesn't know that word. Is it another ancient term from Conria? What? As the Abyss Order has surmised, if this eye is placed in the hands of the defiled statue, and if the limbs of Osile, overlord of the Vortex, are attached to the statue... No... There you have a mechanized god. We can't let it happen! And this newly born god will have the power to topple the divine thrones of Celestia. The Abyss Order must be stopped. Yes. Then... What should we do with this eye? Uh... Hide it so my double will find it. No. I'll guard it myself. Huh? You? Uh, Dane? Mm. You won't go and do anything crazy with it, will you? You may doubt me if you wish, but I must ensure it does not fall into the wrong hands. No matter where we may hide it, they will find it. And as for the Church of Favonius, well, you know I don't trust them. I don't trust you! Oh, <sighs> right. But our work isn't done yet. To avoid any further repercussions, we must also take care of that defiled statue. Can we let the church take care of this one? We can't have the church get involved. Let's handle it ourselves. As for what I mean by take care of it, naturally I mean to completely destroy it. Yeah, yeah. The Statue of the Seven! As well as being a really important cultural relic, they're actually divine too! Yeah, but like death uh, and destruction and everything! Well, good thing we didn't tell Barbara earlier. Otherwise, she'd be going completely bonkers right now! Huh. Do the Seven really expect me to help them look after what belongs to them? Let's go back to those ruins and destroy the inverted statue. If we are lucky. We will also run into that Abyss Herald. 
I'll make sure it doesn't get away this time. Oh. So after all that running around, we end up right back here again. Look at us. We barely escaped this place last time, and now yeah. we're strolling right back in. Tell me about it, Point, but I'm not exactly happy about it. Surely we must be some of the bravest adventurers in all of Tavat. That are the stupidest. What the fuck? To get to that creepy statue, we just need to follow the path we used to escape last time. That should take us right to it. Yep, that'll work. Let's go, and remember to be on your guard. Ah, I did it! Let's go for Troy! <laughs> Bitches, you don't set a chance against me! Get the fuck out of here with your bubble bullshit! It is what it is. Oh, I missed a chest, Saj. Looks oh well. like we're here. An eerie, lifeless, dark chamber. I understand the evil aura you were describing earlier. Yep. Oh, such a scary place. Be careful to not be overwhelmed by the power of the defiled statue. The Abyss Herald. It's here. <laughs> you sense correctly. You are just as vexatious as ever, Danesliff, enemy of the Abyss. I sense your soul is stained by terrible bloodshed. Perhaps from your darkest nightmares. Unless... <laughs> oh, and something far more dangerous. No, no, you no. Reek of a corruption familiar to me. Then we are the same. We're both dangerous. But dangers from outside of the Abyss Order must be caught and caged. I'll cage you, pussy. It is your words that forever reek of corruption. Time to silence you. Oh shit, okay. Oh, okay, so I know my sword. Let me weave you a verse. Rain outlines your. Everybody stand back. Boom, boom. I'm trying to attack this thing. Within the wall. Oh god! No, my sword. Let's light it up. Yeah. Time for your arraignment. Motion to compel. Ring cutter. Body and let's light it up. Teamwork is dream work. Boom boom. Oh, the heels. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Holy shit. Let's light it up. Come on. Shields! The world yeah. will fall. 
Come on, give me the ult, give me the ult, give me the ult. Body and mind. Time to act. Incinerate! The end is Christ, you are relentless, dude. Let me leave you at first. Know my sword. Let's light it up. So I'm sitting there. Barbecue sauce on my face. Let's go. Yo. What? Wait! No! Is that Lumine? Shock already? What? Your sister and the abyss? Ether, why are you with Dane? You're asking about Dane? Uh huh. Why are you asking about something that doesn't matter? Your sister knows Dane? <laughs> Lumine, we meet again. Oh, it's Lumine, my bad. <sighs> You shouldn't team up with this man. He is my enemy. I mean. Wait. Uh, uh, stop saying things that don't make sense. But it must be said. <sighs> don't try to stop me. Don't try to stop the abyss. That man, Dainsliff, was the Twilight Sword. One of the royal guards of the final dynasty of Conria. 500 years ago, he failed to prevent the destruction of Conria. A curse of immortality was laid upon him to forever wander the wilderness. While he watched the people he was supposed to protect turn into monsters of the abyss. You're saying Dane is from Conria? The <sighs> same Conria that was destroyed 500 years ago? And you said the people turned into monsters? You're trying to tell Paimon that the Abyss Order is not only related to Conria, but is actually the people of Conria themselves? Uh, and the whole thing about Dane being your enemy... Oh, uh, Paimon's so confused. Count me in with that one. Uh, you can tell me all this later. Let's go home. Home. Yes. Of course. Home is wherever we are together. Yes. But I cannot go with you to the next world to find a new home. At least, not yet. Until the Abyss has engulfed the thrones, my war with Destiny will see no end. Destiny? Listen to me, Ether. I have already traveled through this world once. Once you reach the end of your journey as I did, you will see for yourself the true nature of this world. So we'll meet again. No. Though we need not rush, brother. I have more than enough time to wait for you. <laughs> we have 
I've always had enough time. Dane went... Thank you for the follows during that, by the way, chat. And uh, thank you for c coming from the YouTube, too. I, I saw one of the messages earlier. Uh, I what the fuck? What the fuck? We just... Wait, what? Oh, God, okay. I'm not sad. Really? Are you sure? At least now, as well as the seven, Dane is also a key part of finding your sibling too, right? Uh, once we get to Inazuma, we should keep that in mind as we look for more clues. That's right. Um, by the way, what they said just now is all pretty confusing. Did you understand it at all? I did as Bran, but I guess he probably wouldn't have. Uh, I was too focused on Lumine to really listen carefully. Oh. Well then, let's go over it again. No, Paimon, I did understand. No, I... Okay, there we go. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> okay, that's fine. First off, that Abyss Herald called your sister Princess. Uh-huh. seems like your sister is leading the Abyss Order. Even the Abyss Herald answers to her. Still... We don't know for sure if she's the highest ranking leader in the organization. Also, your sister said that she wants to engulf the thrones and go to war with destiny. What the heck does that mean? Oh, I don't like Could this. It be that she wants to destroy the seven and the seven nations? Next thing, turns out the Abyss Order monsters are really what the people of Conria turned into after their nation was destroyed. This story is just plain terrifying. And Dane is from Conria too. He witnessed its destruction 500 years ago. But he didn't turn into a monster. And now he's fighting the Abyss Order. So that's why your sister said that Dane is her enemy, right? Yep, yep. But if the monsters of the Abyss are the same people that Dane protected all those years ago, then why is he enemies with the Abyss Order now? Also... How come, after all this time we spent searching for your sister, it turns out she's on the side of the abyss? Paimon! What's up with that? Stop asking questions, holy shit! I have to learn just as much as you have in this past five minutes. We have many questions, but few answers. Yeah, you're right. Thank you, I love you. We can't let ourselves get down about it now. Our journey's not over yet. Let's you're right. get a move on. Time to leave this terrible dark place and get back to the surface where the sun shines bright. Head if pots your for Paimon. wants you to reach the end of your journey, well then, show her what you're made of. Come on, traveler, let's go. Wow. Okay, we got this, chat. We got this. We'll do both. And. Hopefully, chat, this should be okay. Uh, so this is the We Will Be Reunited trailer. Say hi to YouTube, chat. Outlanders do not belong in this world. Okay. Wow, this is like polar opposites to what- One day, this journey will reach its end. The dandelion. It's the dandelion. But until the abyss has engulfed the thrones, 
My war with destiny will see no end. But why? Our plan to recognize the dragon has been impeded. By the Animo Archon? <sighs> he rises again for the dragon's sake? No, not the Archon. We were well prepared for his interference. Regrettably, your highness, the issue is your brother. Yep, yeah, there we go, there it is. Oh no. Your journey ends here. Who me? Yo. We will be reunited, dear brother. But not here. Not now. We will meet at this journey's end. Once the dust has settled, it does make sense. Then you will understand. Wow. Oh, God. Okay. That's insane, dude. Okay. Yeah. There was definitely spoilers there. I'm really glad we watched that afterwards. Let's not call it that. Should make more sense now. Oh. The war has already begun. It is just a continuation of past battles. The gods goad us on with the promise of their seven treasures. Rewards for the worthy, the doorway to divinity. Yet Wait, this one is safe to watch, right? I smoldering remains, a warning to those that dare trespass. That throne in the sky is not reserved for you. But mortal irrigation never stops. None will escape the flames. See for yourself. The no, I... dragon who defended Mondstadt for a millennium finally faces his perturbation. I am literally never gonna forget what this voice does now. What freedom really mean when demanded of you by a god? The god of contracts. Oh. Slaughtered as his people watched on in horror. None of this made any sense to me before. We'll sign the contract to end all contracts. Wow, that's insane, dude. None of this made any sense before. Holy shit. In the secluded land of the immortal Shogun, the Bakufu rose eternal. But what do mortals see of the eternity chased after by their god? The god of wisdom's enemy is wisdom itself. It's actually insane. Ay, ay, ay. is a mirage in the desert of ignorance. In the city of scholars, there is a push for folly. Yet the god of wisdom makes no argument against it. Anubis, hello? The god of justice lives for the spectacle of the courtroom, seeking to judge all other gods. Fontaine as well, okay. But even she knows not to make an enemy of the divine. Okay. The rules of war are woven in the wound. The victors shall burn bright, while the losers must turn to ash. When the god not of one. war shares this secret with the traveler, it is because she has her reasons. Please gonna have a best friend. Please gonna have a best friend. With no love left for her people, nor do they have any left for her. Snezhnaya. Hope only to be on her side when the day of her rebellion against the divine comes at last. In the perpetual meantime of a sheltered eternity, most are content to live mm. and not to dream. But in the hidden corners where the gods' gaze does not fall. There are those who dream of dreams. Okay. Some say a few are chosen and the rest. Oh, can I true? But I say we humans have our humanity. There he is, we baby. We defy this world with a power from beyond. Now, you who has set foot in this world, your journey has reached its end, but one final doorway remains. Wait, I forgot Step about this part. What is this? Understood the meaning of your journey. Defeat me. Command me to step aside. 
Show me that you are worthier than I to rescue her. Then, the threads of all fate will be yours to reweave. Yo, I for... Wait, I forgot that was said.